Welcome everybody to the Top Bag Podcast, the show where we share our love for nerd culture for your entertainment. I'm one of your hosts, Matt. And I'm Mike. And today we're going to talk about the NBA as the season 2021-2022 begins. begins. Um, so we're about a week and a half start from the NBA celebrating its 75th anniversary um, of inception. Um, there's a lot of storylines coming into this year we're going to use this episode for just a review kind of like recap mm. what happened last year and then we're entering our first full nba season again yep during the pandemic with everything just kind of felt all bunched up together right everything's come kind of going back to normal so. yeah so and uh to preface we are from the bay so matt definitely has his love for the king i mean the warriors i have the love for the kings hence why i wear the king's hat um, so you'll see a lot of biases with that. Yes, sir. Um, but today we'll we'll do a lot of topics on um, big headlines coming into the season, um, predictions on some awards, and then uh, some predictions on who's going to wear the crown at the mm. end of the year. Okay. Um, so um, last year, or last season, um, left off um, with Milwaukee Bucks, a small market team, beating the Phoenix Suns. I was so proud. So happy for Giannis. Yep. Uh, which is funny because like they won, but I don't think there's a lot of people saying they're going to repeat this year. Yeah, yeah, it so, might have been one of those again, one of those Cinderella stories. Detroit Pistons. Yeah, you never know though. But so, with Giannis and shout to Giannis and Chris, uh-huh. uh, I love seeing teams that just build together yep. and win. Yeah, finally through just hard work and dedication and loyalty, which yeah. is really hard to find nowadays in the NBA. So exactly, shout out to them. Uh-huh. You know. But it's funny because, like, the hats here in front of us is the Lakers in Brooklyn. So <laughs> this, those are the heavy favorites going into this year. Okay. And we could talk about, like, LeBron and KD oh. in depth. Okay. Um, but headlines going into this year. On um, the summer, USA won Olympics, yep. led by KD. KD's favorite to win MVP. Um, big offseason moves, like Russell Westbrook going to the Lakers. Yeah, Ka- yeah. Kyle, Kyle Lowry going to Miami. Mm-hmm. DeMar DeRozan going to Chicago. That don't really fucking matter. Yep. Um, um, but the big headlines this year is like, there's going to be rule changes much to Matt's approval. Thank you, God. you hear about the rule? Yeah. The biggest rule for, for me was the, the, the fouls, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So you're no longer to, you're no longer allowed to, to get contact from, uh, for shots, right? Or like leading for, from players leading into you. Right? Yeah, yeah, like okay. kicking out your yeah. legs. Mm-hmm. Or just initiating contact in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thank fucking God because yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> I, and the funny thing is I watched the preseason for yeah. Warriors. Yeah. Curry tried to do the same shit. Yeah. I was like, dude, did you not hear? Did they call it? <laughs> yeah. No, they didn't call it. Oh, shit. I haven't <laughs> watched preseason. It's the, it's the rule now. So, yeah. so, so he, he was he was uh, expecting to get to the foul line, but it was just a common foul. It's so, bad habits. Yeah, so, so stop doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, so well, maybe this year we'll have some more gritty basketball again mm-hmm. and um, there wouldn't be as much uh, um, of those petty fouls mm-hmm. that Trey Young's, the James Harden does. Right. Um, maybe we'll see some numbers go down yeah. a little bit. It's so too bad for Luka. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw like this week, mm-hmm. the NBA is actually in a scandal too. No, I didn't. Did you see it? So some players like Big Baby Davis, Tony Allen were caught in a healthcare scandal. For COVID? No, not COVID. Like they were like, it's like a ring, like a kind of, kind of ring of uh, players abusing the healthcare system and getting money off of it. Oh. Yeah. So what's, what's the main issue here? Uh, Just scamming like healthcare shit. So they're like. They were retired already, but they're doing like, they got caught in a big scandal of like money laundering and kind of shit like that dude the healthcare system yeah like, like insurance fake, like faking, faking injuries oh, faking okay. insurance shit okay. so this nba season is like man nba is such a drama filled yeah. place that like headlines there's always a headline every week <laughs> um like nba with the power of social media mm-hmm. big things you're always uh always seeing shit mm. um but i want to i want to ask you like three three main things that are Coming into the season, okay. Um, have you been hearing about all this Kyrie Irving shit? No, I have not. So, so, uh, so, just for preface this, yeah. I have, I'm not very aware of what's happening this season. Well, Matt's so, been busy moving yeah. and all that stuff. So, Mike will be, you know, you're gonna give me all the information. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the information <laughs> okay. and I'll see what you think. So, okay. it's like, so Kyrie, he's he's been topic of discussion because uh, Kyrie uh, hasn't talked about his vaccination status. Okay. So, like, you know, like. NBA is being really strict that like you got to be vaccinated 
They have a mandate for that. Some something similar, especially in the big metropolitan cities in yeah, New yeah. York, San Francisco, and LA. Yeah, for sure. So like Kyrie, um, this is my question to you: is mm-hmm. like if you're like Kevin Durant, do you consider trading Kyrie? If like your boy mm-hmm. is not not able to play half the season at home, right? So we have the same situation with the Warriors because Wiggins in the beginning was the same. Yeah, he was, he was anti-vax. He was saying due to his religion, yeah. he doesn't feel right. But he ended up getting it anyway. Exactly. So I, so I guess your religion is not that important, huh? Yeah. But <laughs> if you're a star player like Kyrie, yeah, arguably top ten in the league, yeah, and you're in a position where you could get a vaccine mm-hmm. to play. To increase your chances of winning. You're, yeah. First of all, it's very selfish for you not to do that exactly. because you're getting paid. Yep. First of all, thirty million. <laughs> yeah. If someone paid me thirty million to get a fucking vax, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Give me like <laughs> six. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> six, dude. It's not gonna kill you. Yeah. So let's just put that out there. Yeah. Like all these players that refuse to get vaccinations mm-hmm. are just stubborn as fuck. Mm-hmm. If you, there's no medical proof that this will you know increase your chances of getting covid or killing you there's none mm-hmm. right. show me one yeah. show me a legit one not like one of these fake faux ones yeah. uh but Kyrie himself dude you got to you got to step up dude yeah. cuz you're that's the most selfish thing i think a player can do mm-hmm. more selfish than what he did last year of simply not going to games oh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this is worse than that yeah cuz now you you <laughs> now that you probably won't play more games yeah. until you get vaccinated or whatever you're just putting your whole team in a weird spot yeah. where you have the chance of getting a championship. Or that's, at least it's just it's really selfish. That sucks. Like that's like if you invited me to play hoop with uh-huh. you in a league mm-hmm. and you don't show up to half the game. Exactly. I'm exactly. like, bro, I paid this much money for Zog Sports. <laughs> exactly. It's like you're relying too much on your notoriety and your your status in the yeah. NBA to you think you're good enough to beat this whole mandate. Yeah. Is that the whole, is that the issue right now? So, something like that where he's like he's semi protesting a little bit. Yeah, he's Kyrie's always um viewed as malcontent. Like he's always a, he's naturally contrarian mm-hmm. and like like wokeness of like trying to say that like flat earth or yeah, that shit pisses me which, off. Which too. which sucks too cuz like Kyrie does so much for the community, mm-hmm. but the media like overlooks the stuff he does like mm-hmm. he's giving water to villages in pakistan mm-hmm. which is great he gives back mm-hmm. to because he's part native american so he gives mm-hmm. back to his tribe stuff like that mm-hmm. but like yeah it sucks because Kyrie, you're kind of leading this <clears throat> like this faux news shit right, of like right. not believing into science mm-hmm. you know and i i know for a fact Kyrie at this point in his life he doesn't really care yeah honestly i don't even think he wants to play basketball anymore yeah because yeah, yeah. he has no interest in you know, following the NBA rules and, and stuff sucks because like he's an art artist. Yeah, he's he's one of the best handlers in in NBA history. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, one of the most skillful. Mm-hmm. But with that being said, when it comes to the business of the NBA, he's never like I said, he's a contrarian. He, yeah. he never follows. He never tries to go with the grain yeah. of the business of it, <laughs> which sucks yeah. because like you know, easily he could be like, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> He LeBron could, level. He's exactly like um You have a lot of power that he doesn't realize. Or he has a lot of power that he doesn't I I don't know, he's not he's just not taking advantage of it. So. Yeah. I think uh Kyrie it sucks for like K D and James Harden. Mm-hmm. And that's like, your boy too. That's your boy. <laughs> yeah. Like that's you, not just a regular ass. I came to the fucking Brooklyn for this. <laughs> exactly. Where Brooklyn at? Where yeah. Kyrie gonna be at in yeah. all this, man? Thank God know. he has Kyrie now. Yeah. I mean sorry, thank God he has Harden now. So um, So speaking of Brooklyn, mm-hmm. So like these two Brooklyn, Brooklyn, these two big power teams. I'm calling it the mega <laughs> super teams because the they're <laughs> full of former All Stars, veterans, yeah, and yeah. then like players that are in their prime. Like it's very mirror images. So KD and LeBron, they mm-hmm. have the rivalry. This might be part four okay. of the finals meetup. Um, and then LeBron has this whole thing about he's gonna he's still trying to get to. Kareem level numbers with like points. He's oh, only three thousand points he's away. Tra- he's he's uh, what you call it? He's record chasing now. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, like LeBron has that on his line. Mm-hmm. KD has the legacy of like, can he do it outside of the Warriors? Yeah, the East Coast that. Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's it's weird because like, um, James Harden is, is on that side. Mm-hmm. And Russell Westbrook was on this mm-hmm. side. So they both haven't won a chip. They both haven't led their teams mm-hmm. deep in the playoffs. And I've always said they they never had the the 
the leadership to do it anyway. Yeah, they yeah. have all the skill in the world. Yeah. Like Russell had all the athleticism to do every, anything he wanted. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's the mentality and the way – it's just like KD too. KD, he, out of those three, he has the best chance of leading a team obviously. Yeah, yeah. But he hasn't shown it yet. Mm-hmm. When it was with the Warriors, it's like, yeah, you're still riding off the coattail of – their championship run you have the one of the best coaches in the league and you have curry yeah. top three player mm-hmm. so it was it's not for whatever people will say it's not debatable if kate was able to to win a championship without them mm-hmm. regardless yeah now he has the opportunity but he yeah. still has a like a bunch of all-stars on the team too so yeah he lightweight showed in the playoffs mm-hmm. like game seven and yeah toe on the line yeah, he's always ice cold he's, yeah. he's easy money sniper all day yeah but <clears throat> Leadership wise, I still haven't seen it yet. Yeah, like even with the Olympics too. Like mm-hmm. you saw how they played in the beginning. They tra- they were trash in the beginning. Yeah, like well until you got Devin Booker and yeah, come over exactly. later. Exactly. <laughs> like, do you still rely on talent, or is your talent enough to propel yeah. everyone else? Yeah. That's what separates him from the greats. Yeah. Even though he's he has his own greatness in his own right, uh-huh. he's still not up there for me. Even I don't care how many threes he could shoot or how long he could shoot. Yeah, you have to show your leadership. You know the narrative of uh, can you get it done? Yeah. And look, okay. even though I'm not the biggest LeBron fan, he proved it that he can go to teams and he could dominate yeah, and yeah. he could lead them to to championships. So. Who do you? Um, <clears throat> oh, we'll talk. We'll talk about that later too. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Like LeBron basically re-upped with like the old ass players. Mm-hmm. My boy Melo is on the team. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Dwight is back. <laughs> Rajon Rondo is mm-hmm. back. So it's like all these all-stars when we were growing up. <laughs> the all-stars in the mid 2000s. Yeah. yeah. Paul Millsap is with Brooklyn now. I'll follow myself. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Lamarcus is back. Okay. I hope Lamarcus stays healthy. Aldridge. Uh, yeah, because remember his heart condition. Is he? Was, is, is he playing with them? He's with Brooklyn now. Oh, he's, he's back with Brooklyn, with Brooklyn and okay. Blake Griffin is in Brooklyn too. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, what would be crazy? Like the X Factors are the fucking rookies yeah, and shit. Just, they probably would. Be. <laughs> they just need it for energy. They oh don't need it for my skill. god, that is crazy to think about where we are now. It's yeah. like all the. <laughs> <laughs> all the former all stars on one team. Yeah. It's like two K thirteen. It's, it's kind of pathetic in a way. <laughs> it's like this is your you just want that ring now. <laughs> it's like Glenn Park players. Yeah, like, exactly. You get all the oh jeez. It's like you guys were good ten years ago, but <laughs> all the players from Glenn Park versus all the players at Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> the side of the court no one let you get to play oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So it is it is kinda of crazy though. Um we'll see how it shapes up as we talk about the conferences. Mm-hmm. Um Russell going to Lakers, I thought that was the best move possible. Yeah. Because they need that type of point guard. Mm-hmm. So that was an obvious move. I knew that was going to There's not going to be a lot of shooting at all, though. I know. I know. That team. But <laughs> Russell's going to carry AD. Like when AD, because Russell averages 10 rebounds. Mm-hmm. He might even get more rebounds than AD. <laughs> AD <laughs> AD supposedly hella big. Yeah. Like more recently, like he put on weight. Did but he? Like, but I, he's still fragile, man. Yeah, I know. He's still monster blue his, level. His weakness is his legs. <laughs> yeah. He gives out. Maybe. Russell, uh, yeah. You know, the thing about Russell, I would never, ever debate is you'll always get maximum effort. Oh, yeah, 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 Every time. Yeah. Too much effort sometimes. <laughs> but he'll uh, always give you 100%. Russell's like um, like a Ninja Turtle coming back home yeah. and finally wearing LA colors. Mm-hmm. Like, it's good because I didn't want Russell to go to into purgatory. Yeah. Like, he, they fucking sent him to Washington. <laughs> Like, damn, that's trash. Man. I thought that was actually going to be good. Me but, too. Yeah. But had they been healthy the mm-hmm. whole season. But I think Washington is a good place with Dinwiddie and yeah. Beal. Yeah. So they they're, might still re- they're still rebranding and developing. So <laughs> he needs to be on the veteran team. So <laughs> that's what that's what's happening. That's true. He, yeah. he's just, he can't run with a bunch of young people anymore. And LeBron's just going to chill this whole season while Russell puts up numbers. Yeah. And LeBron, all LeBron has to do this season is facilitate, be the point forward, and, you know, score – I don't know. 25. He has to be at least 20, 28 and 6 every yeah, game. Yeah. That's oh, all. Yeah. 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 He can just chill. Yeah. Yeah. You and have to rely on the other people. We'll see, man. That's why Kyrie, you got to be the X Factor. And, like, <laughs> you know, you're a, a performer when you're up on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's transition to, like, another big topic um, the curious case of Benjamin Simmons. Fuck him. That motherfucker. <laughs> like, Ben Simmons to me is like the epitome of NBA players nowadays. Yeah. With so much power due to social media, mm-hmm. with so much money, and like um, players are like also players in the esports space. Mm-hmm. So you always hear Ben Simmons either fucking around with a Kendall Jenner or yeah. with like um, uh, on Twitch or something. Right, right. So Ben Simmons is what Kyrie is now without the. <laughs> without the status behind him yeah he's what he doesn't i don't feel any 
motivation for him to be in the league anymore. He, yeah. He got his money. Now he's just chilling. Yeah. And he's relying on that. But now, I don't know what he wants to do anymore. It's like, he's do you want to be a better player or do you want to to actually just just chill and get your check? Yeah. So. It's, it's weird because he, he plays both sides of the court. Like, mm-hmm. he's he's just, he wants to be defensive player of the year. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people say that. I want to yeah. be defensive player of the year. And so he has so much talent. Everyone thought he was going to be, like, the next LeBron. But, like, dude does not work on his shot. Yeah, Yeah. or magic. Like, he has the numbers. He has the the athletic ability. Um, And it sucks he, like, in the playoffs, like, dude ran away from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. Like, motherfucker, you got Mm -hmm. kids working on their free throws, but you can't, like, do simple things like that. Right. I'll tell you this, too. My coworker is a Philly boy. Yeah. He's a Phillies fan. Oh, shit. Eagles and Sixers. He oh, hates Ben, ben Simmons, Simmons with a passion, bro. Dude, that's a blue-collar city, and you're yeah. lazy as fuck. Exactly. Oh, lazy man. as fuck. You have, again, you're in the position of power where you can demand more money if you just step up your game a little bit. Yeah. Take more shots. Work on your free throw. Maybe be a little more aggressive attack into the basket. It's mm-hmm. like, dude, you have all this I don't know. You're the only thing holding you back is yourself. Yeah. And Ben Simmons is like at this point I don't give a fuck anymore where he goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's either you do or you don't. Yeah, it's point. it's pretty shameful. Like this is seventy fifth year. I have my fifty year fifty fiftieth anniversary book and mm-hmm. you see all the players back then mm-hmm. like that got paid dirt shit compared to now. Exactly. And like and you are fucking it. taking advantage of it. You're more of a social media star or yeah. whatever than actually being like grinding and earning that mm-hmm. right to play exactly. in this league. That, that was the word I was looking for. You haven't earned the right to be this lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Kyrie kind of does. You like, don't. Like this, this is shameful, man. Like Kobe or any other player, mm-hmm. this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and he's a reflection of our generation. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's even hurt, more hurtful. I'm all for em- player empowerment, like mm-hmm. making decisions, but that's like that's lazy, like not showing up to work, mm-hmm. you know? And you're – I get you got beef with the organization and the fan base, right. but show up to work. People right. out here with vaccinations or not are showing mm-hmm. up to work wearing masks yeah. and like essential workers. Yeah. Like you're fucking like <laughs> trashing the league's <laughs> reputation, basketball and sports, mm-hmm. just being a big ass baby. Yeah, I know. Curious. I don't get it. I don't get it. He's still young too. He's like what, 20, yeah. 26? Yeah. Was Something like that. Yeah. Would you, would you want him? There was rumors he might've been traded to the Warriors. I would have only because, I was a, I was when Doc Rivers went to Philly. Yeah. I was assuming that he would change the way Ben Simmons played, but yeah. I think what Ben Simmons needs is a better coach that mm-hmm. can motivate him and a better system. Because yeah. with and be there, it's too bigs. Yeah, that's like you, I think you might need a smaller team to to be the way, the way you play. You need just shooters, and you just want to be the the point man. Yeah, at this point. you have no interest of being a <laughs> Ben Simmons could easily be a twenty ten. 10 player. He yeah. could get 10 rebounds, 10 assists, 15 he points could, at least. He could yeah. triple double if yeah, he wanted. If he wanted every game, but yeah. he doesn't. And I don't get it. <laughs> I think he should just go to Portland or something. Yeah. Remember when I was uh, back in the day, I was riffing on Clay. Yeah. I was like, I see all the potential, but you're not showing it yet. Yeah. At least he fucking showed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Clay actually, like, um, he, he specializes in defense and mm-hmm. offense and, like, he knows what he's great at. Yeah. Ben Simmons is like, you could be so much great in everything. Yeah, exactly. Everything. Just, just, just a stop little fucking more effort. with the Tinashe's, these uh-huh. other fucking stars. I fucking Ben Simmons, man. <laughs> you, you irritate me. Irritating. You irritate Shaq and Charles Barkley. Mm-hmm. They like commented like how they fucking hate how he's going about things. And <laughs> Even Doc Rivers like, yeah, get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Rivers is backtracking yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I'm, I was misquoted. Yeah. I like him beat. He was just like, well, motherf- I'm going to play with the motherfuckers <laughs> here. Like, I like him for that. Yeah, Embiid's a, he could have played back in the day. <laughs> so as we transition to other young stars mm-hmm. um let's talk about this generation of players like okay the awesome. kds and lebrons are getting older yeah um we're in the transition period now transition period yeah. um i'll bring up luca because i know matt that's matt's <laughs> least favorite player why do you not like luca okay matt? i like luca's game uh-huh. i think he is probably the most skillful and high iq player i've seen from that age group yeah, yeah. i've ever seen yeah in my life uh, he has everything. He's well equipped, equipped to win a championship one day. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't like his cockiness. At this <laughs> that, that's it. That's really it. I know he can do anything he wants on the court, but yeah. he's really he's being really 
what's the word when you're looking at the camera yeah when you're winking at the camera you're flirting with the refs a little bit i, th- I think that's bullshit i think there's just people are just dubbing that like i he wouldn't is. i wouldn't put it past him though yeah, he I, mean, well, like, yeah. He, I think he's th- at that point where <laughs> like yeah i'm i'm the shit yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. the cover of 2k now it's oh yeah like, that's true you know my friend was uh, working with him. a lot at he 21. You know? Yeah, some 20-something. And as a Kings fan, it hurts my heart <laughs> that he could have been with us. <laughs> Fuck! Was, like, if he was on the Warriors, I would not I would be okay with that, too. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the fact that, you know, there's, there's the hype and expectations of him being, like, the face of the league. It's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, that's it. That's really just me being a, a, a true hater. Yeah, <laughs> and they're picking on. Uh, yeah, but it's true though. Like, um, it's it's weird to see. I haven't really seen a Euro star do that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. and he knows he's great at it. Right. But it, and like, like he, I know we know he played professional too. So yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. that expedited his his skills a little mm-hmm. bit and his maturity. Yeah, like and, he plays like a vet. And already. like in the playoffs, like he goes up the, against the Clippers, mm-hmm. which was like. Paul George, Patrick Beverly, and Kawhi, Kawhi, they all recognize that he's hard as fuck to right. guard. He puts up the numbers. I actually don't think he'll peak beyond what he's doing now. Because I, I, I think, like, athletically... There's no refinement in this game anymore. I think he can still refine it. Mm-hmm. Like, he could still be, like... I was going to say, I think he should lose a little weight. Maybe yeah, speed yeah, yeah. up. <laughs> I don't, yeah, based on, like, his athletic thing. Maybe mm-hmm. just could being European. Yeah. I don't think he can dominate the league. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think he has the body like lebron right. to sustain it super long he right. need he like dallas really needs two more stars mm-hmm. chris Stops is too injured yeah like for him to be top tier in the right. west because so. no, luca is like he's a mixture of all the good white <laughs> he's like a <laughs> the great of, white hope yeah he's, <laughs> like, he's a mixture of nash and Nowitzki. like he has a shooting capabilities mm-hmm. of, of Nowitzki, and, and then maybe the cockiness of larry bird yeah exactly so <laughs> Yeah, he's the, he's a great white hope of this generation, and I, I give Luca all the props. It's just that you know, person on a personal level, yeah. I, I I wouldn't. <laughs> it hurts my heart as a you know me. Fan. I'm a Kawhi person. That's yeah, the kind yeah, of demeanor yeah. I want on the yeah, court. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like mystery about him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you see Kawhi in the too sexy video. Yeah, 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 yeah. dude, he's in a he's in the NBA commercial too. NBA oh. at seventy five. Like, oh, yeah? You should see it with Michael B. Jordan. Okay, I'm so that like, too. I really like that we're going to see the next twenty five players mm-hmm. that are going to be honored on the NBA top seventy five players. Mm. Like if you saw nineteen ninety six, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool to see so many generations like the Bill Russells, the Will Chamberlains, and then the, at the time Michael Jordan. Mm. So now it's kind of be cool to see our people we grew up in, like the Allen Iversons, the LeBrons, yeah. those draft classes, like. I want to see who's going to be in the next 25. Right, right. So, and then now that we have social media, mm-hmm. like it's going to be like a big ass debate, like who should have been left off yeah, or whatever. So yeah. when you see that announcement, mm-hmm. it's going to be pretty cool. I was I'm was i very historical kind of shit in that's, NBA. That's true. I was worried at one point too because uh, during the, the championships of the Warriors and you know LeBron too, I was like, who is going to be the, the next the, the face of the NBA? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't seeing it yet. Yeah. Like this is when um, – Devin Booker was still coming up more. Yeah, I, I wasn't seeing it with him. Everyone was saying he was being like the next Kobe. I yeah, still, yeah, yeah, I still didn't see it. That's what I'm saying. This this new tier of yeah. like players, mm-hmm. I don't know yet. Like the jury's still out on some of them. Like yeah. Zion, can Zion stay healthy? Yeah, Devin Booker, mm-hmm. can he have a revenge tour? Yeah, Tatum, you put on the list too. Tatum like has all the talent, but like mm. we ah. still need to see it in the playoffs. Okay, now John ja Morant. Yeah, yes, I uh, do see. That's for sure. He's dude. one of my favorite young players. That's young AI, dude. Yeah, the young AI, and he has <sighs> again. The maturity of these players nowadays is like, you would think he played in the league at least 10 years. Yeah, he, he talked like a fucking vet. Yeah, and the way he maneuvers, it's like, you still have all that young energy. It's kind of dangerous, though. It's dangerous. It's like Luca, f- but faster. <laughs> it's like D. Rose, kind of dangerous. Yeah. Like, dude be dunking. Yeah. And, like, and he's pretty he has hum- to watch. He's pretty when, humble, too. N- so. Knock on wood. Like, he has to watch how he falls. Like, or lands. Yes, yeah. Um, John it's Morant. That, it's that young energy. Though. Yeah. You, you think he could do everything. Do you think John Morant better than Trey Young? Ooh. I would. Oh, okay. <laughs> New John York Mor- hates Trey Young. Yeah, John Morant. I would. Yeah, I would. Me personally, I would pick John Morant over yeah, Trey because yeah. Trey has a lot of quirks that he still needs to get over too. He looks quirky. Too. Yeah, he looks. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's a Lollipop. member of the Debarge. The yeah, Bar family. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's uh, clutch, man. He's clutching the playoffs. He's clutch. He's clutch. But you know, he's he has a lot of improvement too. He yeah. has all, again all the skills in the world. Yeah, shooting. He got to work on the shooting percentage. Yeah, yeah. He just chucks it. He's too much. He's like what kids are now, just chucking yeah. it. Yeah, out. Trey. When we talked about Trey in the beginning, he was like, "This is why the Curry effect was." getting to me it was like okay these kids are too much yeah 
focus too much on shooting. Yeah. I was like, I don't like it. Trey's cool. But Trey can do everything, yeah. in my opinion. It's Trey's cool. one of the nicest players I met in really? person. Yeah. yeah. He seems like, really he, cool. He was cool. But like but I said, he's like the villain. of. He's <laughs> cold-blooded, yeah, yeah, man. Dude. He's the Reggie Miller now. He's, he's the villain, yeah. <laughs> Reggie <laughs> loves it. Reggie fucking loves like, yeah. he took a fucking bow. Like, yeah. oh, shit. But I like that because we haven't seen that kind of stuff from the NBA in a while. Yes. Like a villain. Exactly. Yeah. That's per- yeah. yeah. It's cool. It's cool to see that. So I th- we might not get – this is a – different era like um i feel like this era is more skilled and not as much like power imposing players mm-hmm. um i'll give you another player uh you might <laughs> you're not gonna like this but i really love Lamelo's game dude it's no, fun I agree. to watch I agree. play I agree with you he, that, he's he I, is effortless he's one of those he was like a luca against like i didn't want him to succeed yeah. <laughs> it was just me being a hater because i yeah. hate the rich kid background yeah. you know you you did nothing in your life but play basketball basketball because you had the opportunity just to do so yeah like yeah. your dad just i give, he's supremely talented i, I man, give yeah. ball uh, uh LeVar. lamar ball props too he got all his sons in the league in, in, in the league one yeah. way or another yeah. like lonzo i don't know how he's gonna do in chicago i think lonzo might have like a really good he might be most, most improved frozen? player yeah because he, he has a lot of players he can pass to okay inside and yeah perimeter. like the ball brothers i still don't like jello but uh lamello yeah dude is fucking he's talented. fun he's fun he's fun that's a f- he's careless dude. <laughs> that's <Like> mj's best <laughs> <laughs> yeah for once in his life he did something good <laughs> yeah he probably was busy that day smoking cigars he <laughs> let somebody else draft auto draft <laughs> yeah because he's again he's like curry yeah. he can shoot uh-huh. he can facilitate yeah. he has that vision already and he has the 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 young energy yeah so i enjoy he's, that he's like, dangerous basketball to him like he it's natural he, he's natural he doesn't care about much mm-hmm. i want him to stay away from the tiana trumps of the world mm-hmm. like he he might let stardom get to him too much no he will yeah he but will. i think i was actually hopefully. surprised lonzo's been he's been pretty low-key yeah, his, yeah, his career because he stopped rapping <laughs> yeah. these players gotta stop rapping stop rap, unless bro. you're dame like you gotta <laughs> like marvin bagley yeah. you guys gotta stop rapping yeah. and you gotta focus on your game uh, first keep talking, keep talking. um so Lamel is nice, bro. Like I love his highlights. Other guards like Shea Alexander mm. and OKC. It'll take them a couple years to get some shine. <laughs> Shea Alexander, where's he from? He's in OKC. Okay, he see. was he was traded from. I actually don't know this player. So. See exactly. Okay. So I think he's he's a dark horse for when his team actually gets better in a couple years. Mm-hmm. Um, and then another player that I want to highlight, I'm gonna use my Filipino bias, Jalen Green. Ah. For Houston Rockets, <laughs> he's going to be the rookie of the year. Uh-huh. I predict he'll average he 25, 25 and 5. Uh, he's part Filipino. And I look back, his mom's Ilocano. <laughs> so <laughs> we're fucking Ilocano. <laughs> I have pride. This dude, is, he can score from all three levels. Uh-huh. He has amazing hair. <laughs> he needs to gain some pounds, but I'm vo- r- I'm rooting for this guy. He's nice, huh? He's going to be my fucking Jeremy Lin okay. for the Filipino community. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a biased fuck. I'm a biased jersey. Uh, I remember hearing him and my dad was talking about him. I Chile. just haven't seen him play mm-hmm. but because, you know, the Filipino bias in him. So. Yeah, <laughs> dude, he he's he's nice. can score in all three levels. If okay. you got, like, people like KD approving you, uh-huh. that means a lot. Okay. All right. Um, he has a sweet mid-range, too. Yeah. He's nice, dude. Fuck. Like... <laughs> That kid can ball. I I don't really like the the fashion stuff because like I feel like that can get distracting. That's everyone though. But that's social right media branding. Yeah. Um, I saw this one pic of yeah. uh, fashion now versus fashion the the early two thousand. <laughs> Tim Duncan shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got shopped at Mervin's, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Duncan looked like uh, your dad coming in for a fifth grade <laughs> parent teacher conference. Like God damn it. Dude. Like if you walked in the store, like <laughs> Nevisky was wearing like a fifty dollar button. Yeah. Like everyone nowadays are wearing like thousands of dollars of Louis Vuitton. Exactly. Gucci. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really changed a lot, man. It really sucks because, like, if you have a bad game, it, people just pile on you. Like, why did you wear that outfit before <laughs> the game or whatever? But like, <laughs> I just, I just want Jalen Green and other players to really show that heart and like grit. Like, j- I like players that say like, I should have been number one pick. Mm. I truly believe I'm better than this guy right. over Cade Cunningham. Maybe Jalen Suggs might be a real star, but. I like that confidence. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm going to look out for him too. Cause yeah. I haven't seen him. I really haven't seen any highlights of him yet. So yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's also gone to the Philippines and I haven't even gone to the Philippines. Yeah. Like he, okay. he wears that pride on him a little bit. <laughs> he's from Fresno. So, okay. Jalen green. There's a lot of uh, black Filipinos in the industry now. Yeah. If you add Jalen green and Jordan Clarkson, you get one Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> you should go with Saweetie. They could just make one. Oh gosh. <laughs> just do all around. Yeah. Um, MVP predictions, uh, award predictions. Actually, I feel, hold on. Let me go backtrack a little bit. They talk about Tatum. 
Oh, uh, Tatum. Uh, I think him and Jalen Brown just got a – Celtics is in a weird position, like, management-wise. Mm-hmm. Like, um, their coach became the GM, Brad Stevens. Oh, he's the GM now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I forgot who's the coach now. Um, but it's like I think Jason Tatum – still needs to or his body should be at the place where he's at his peak now he, he grew prime. another inch so i think he needs to be in his physical prime and stay healthy mm-hmm. throughout the year he had covid last year so it okay. fucked him up for yeah. a week tatum showed me a lot last season yeah. i gotta be honest like i i was not on the train yet until yeah. i saw what he did in the playoffs, playoffs yeah. yeah i was i was impressed he's good but celtics don't have any bigs mm-hmm. um they don't have a strong point guard. Right. Kemba left. Right. Kemba, Kemba didn't do shit. Yeah, Kemba is like <laughs> that was the biggest disappointment. I've Kemba seen. always gets hurt. Yeah. My dad fucking hates Kemba. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy's always getting hurt. He's a Celtics fan. Kemba is like one of those players. Like you think he would be <laughs> higher than he is yeah. all the time because uh, he's highlights, but he's not like exactly. He can't reach that top top tier yeah. point guard. He lacks consistency. That's why. Yeah. And um, then Zion. Oh, I forgot about Zion. Zion, Zion can't stay healthy. Dude. Yeah, I don't. I, he had a broken foot. I know Zion. My dad was really high on Zion when he first came because he he thought he was gonna be like the next Barkley. Yeah. But with the way he plays and his stature, it's like I don't see him lasting longer than eight years. Yeah, which yeah. sucks because I feel like he has the attitude to be the face of the league. Yeah, he does. He he's does. he's pretty humble and mm-hmm. um he's big bodied and he has power. a Catholic too. Yeah, yeah. and he can but shoot a little bit. But the play style, man, it's like. You can't sustain that longer. Than, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's you end up like D Rose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He could have like, I feel like he, he already averaged twenty seven last year. Mm-hmm. Like he could have those three or four years of injuries and then sprinkle in like good good years. But it sucks because he's in New Orleans. Mm. Like maybe I feel like he's gonna go to New York someday with uh with his boy with the Knicks. Yeah, his yeah. boy's on the RJ Barrett's on the team. Oh, okay. So he he could have been drafted by the Knicks, but mm. I think maybe once he goes to a big market and finally changes his diet yeah he could finally he needs sustain to lose it. at least 20 pounds but like you said his career might be it might be short. over before it even gets to that point yeah, 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 yeah so. i don't know i don't know i had a lot of hope for zion too but yeah. he hasn't been showing anything lately in the past three years or two years Is it two years a year and a half yeah because like oh yeah he was injured the, that first year right yeah and new orleans is purgatory i know <laughs> that's why lonzo left um is a uh, ingram still there yeah okay. bi uh, moving on to predictions, I feel like I think I, f- I feel like this might be the year Luca gets MVP because uh, you think, yeah, I'll I know pro- KD is big, but like <clears throat> Luca has Jason Kidd as his coach now. Mm-hmm. Dame might be a big one because Chauncey Billups is his coach now. Mm-hmm. Chauncey Billups will change the culture and make it more difficult. I forgot to ask you that too. What did you think about uh, a Joker being MVP, MVP last year? Was uh, that deserved? I think so, just because Embiid can't play more than 80 percent of mm. the season right i think Embiid had the mvp season mm. but um joker was consistent like, the whole time yeah that's that's all i've been hearing in the, the tabloids narrative. it was yeah. really just him because he played every game yeah that's the reason why but he plays he really fucking up. well yeah i know he's I like know. sabonis <laughs> back in the day <laughs> like his passes are amazing yeah um, but that's he, the kind of big I wish the Warriors got. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think we kind of have something like that now. I forgot his name. Wiseman? He's, he's white. No. Oh. We have a white uh, oh, that one, four. Yeah, like a po- polar bear looking yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> he has no legs whatsoever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Joker is like one of those players that you need that type that type of five mm-hmm. on any team, and yeah. you'd be good. Which is why it's going to suck for Denver this year because Jamal the, Murray's hurt. He's still out? Yeah, he's gonna be out for, for a, while. a little while. Yeah, okay. he might not. He might not come back till March or something. I, I kind of broke my heart when he got injured in yeah. the playoffs, like because you know it's there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're right there. I think um, so. Joker, he might have a struggle year. Mm-hmm. Um, How about Giannis? Giannis, I feel like Bucks. But we'll move on to the conference. Look, I feel like in the East, it could go either way. Um, I keep tossing and turning over this. Like, mm-hmm. I really want Milwaukee to repeat, but I feel like they might have a hangover just because, like, they're, they've been celebrating a lot. Yeah, and Chris, they worked hard. Dude. Yeah, Chris Giannis Middleton yeah. and um, Drew Holiday just came back from the Olympics. Mm-hmm. There's only been a 91 day break between last season mm-hmm. and this season. That's got our factor in. And you're being hunted now. Yeah. You're exactly. a fucking buck. Everyone's going, yeah. Everyone's gonna everyone in the East down. Conference is going at you now. Yeah. So. They're the team I root for. I'd rather see them in the finals again, maybe against Phoenix again. Yeah. But I, I did. If, Phoenix or not. If Brooklyn <laughs> all. Chips are on the table. I uh-huh. think Brooklyn's gonna just go to the finals easily. 
We said that last year too, though. Yeah. Um, but there's always intangibles. James Harden went down. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm saying. Yeah. I, I really wish Milwaukee goes in. Do you think Philadelphia will do well if they trade Ben Simmons? Or is it dependent on it? it? It's dependent. Who they'll make in? playoffs for sure. Like, the, if anything, they'll be eight, seven seed. Yeah. Or actually, with Embiid there, they'll be, they'll make the playoffs. That's all that, yeah. <laughs> that care. But, but will they take it past that? Yeah. That's a toss up for sure. I think, uh, I think Miami should be considered in, in that top four. Cause Jimmy like, Buckets. Jimmy Buckets mm-hmm. finally getting healthy. Um, Tyler Hero needs to stop being <laughs> a social media head and just These players. Play. But Kyle Lowry should be. Kyle Lowry's big ass <laughs> will help a lot. He he, like veteran veteran presence, right? Controlling the game. I always Kyle always reminded me of Chris Paul the way they play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got they big both ass, got big yeah. asses. Their statures and their height. Yeah, like, <laughs> he's a pit bull dude. Yeah. He's fucking. That was a good pickup though from Miami for sure. Um, they needed the point guard. Bam out of bio. Um, I think Trey, Trey might not be good in the regular season, mm-hmm. but he's built for the playoffs. Um, yeah, he showed it. He, yeah. It's in his it's in his veins. Yeah. He's, Ice cold. Yeah, he's showtime. Yeah. yeah. Um, other teams. Oh, this year they're doing the playing tournament again. How do you feel about the playing tournament? I like the playing You like it? Yeah. I liked it too. Yeah, because I, I hated – back in the day too when we watched the NBA, I was like, I hate when teams the are – The Warriors. Yeah, specifically the Warriors. The eight seeders and the ninth, ten seeders. It's like they're just a game behind. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I think they deserve to, <laughs> to do something. Yeah. So this is a good – it makes the playoffs fun again. It yeah. makes it really exciting. LA and Warriors. Mm-hmm. That was a that good was, game. I watched that game. And it was fucking heartbreaking. <laughs> 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 fucking heartbreaking, LeBron. And then you lost it to Memphis. Yeah. Like, ah, damn know. it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. That's when John Morant really got my respect. Yeah. Too. It's like yeah. he's you know. He's it a beast. gives it gives hope to my Kings. <laughs> I predict that the fucking Kings will make the playoffs. Yeah. They will be the ninth <laughs> seed. <laughs> they will be the ninth seed. Who's this, who's the Kings at right now? Uh, De'Aaron Fox. Okay. That's it? Uh, <laughs> no, we have Tyrese. We have a great d- draft pick and Davion Mitchell. Mm-hmm. I just feel like this is the year. You know, maybe after 15 years of struggle, the Kings will make it finally. <laughs> Playoffs. Yeah, dude, I'm going to buy. I was telling my cousin, I was like, uh, we should buy the last game of the season tickets when we clinch because <laughs> it's going to be cheap now. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, we're, we've been purgatory for Shit, so I'll long. I'll join you too. Look, I'm curious. If you, it's if a nice arena. If you're that. Yeah, I haven't been to that arena yet. Um, we got to get out of this bottom feeder shit. Um, <laughs> was the last, what was the last playoff appearance? Uh, 2006. Shit, man. Bruh. We were, we were, Bibby was still there. <laughs> yeah, my Bibby was still there. <laughs> um, East is the usual. I think like bottom feeders are going to be bottom feeders. Mm-hmm. Um, Charlotte, Chicago are going to be in that playing seed. Mm-hmm. Indiana might be, um, might be cool because they got Rick Carlisle back. Uh, but... The East is pretty much. Who the do Pacers, you think? I, I haven't paid any attention to the Pacers. They have Rick Carlisle. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I think ultimately Brooklyn makes it out of uh, the East. Top two at least. Yeah, at the very least. Um, when we go to the West, I mm-hmm. kind of talked about Sack. Damn, your Clippers are trash without Kawhi. Not my Clippers, my Kawhi. Your Kawhi, <laughs> <laughs> my Kawhi. Kawhi my might Leonard. not even. Kawhi might not even come back. That sucks. Having a player like too quiet. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> remember it was like Too Kawhi. Kawhi is so excited. <laughs> look at look at Kawhi's oh, reaction. Man. That's my boy. That's my boy, dude. He yeah. is the best player. To me. I don't Still. know if they're gonna make it to playoffs, man. Me neither, dude. Their their system is trashed right now. Yeah. And the players, I, I have no confidence anymore. Mm-hmm. And and you know, yeah, I feel bad for Kawhi. It's like I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in Kawhi, I wouldn't know what to do either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kawhi is. Kawhi can do music videos, yeah. but he, <laughs> man, I just, Kawhi, I feel bad for PG. Why? Because, like, he put up so many great numbers in the regular season, mm-hmm. always in the MVP discussion, but now that it's going to be your team, I don't think he can lead this kind of roster. No, nah, I don't like, think so either. He's not a leader. He's a he's the pippin of the yeah, that team. But he puts great numbers. Exactly. He'll give you effort. He'll put up numbers, but you need that MJ, which is Kawhi, to lead it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Too bad. Sorry, Kawhi. Okay, do you think anyone can match the Lakers in the West? Do you think uh, Utah, a small market see. like Utah or Phoenix can go? Because Utah was like number one in the league. Right. But they the can't wh- make. The West is in a weird spot. Now I'm looking right? at it right now. Because right? like, if everyone was healthy, it would be very interesting. But since there's so many injuries that are like mm-hmm. hindering shit, like Denver would have been number one. Yeah, I would have picked that. But Murray's out. Murray's out. So uh, Phoenix, I don't know. 
Is it a revenge tour? Or? Yeah, they'll make playoffs, but I don't know if they can repeat it. Mm-hmm. Again, it was just one of those, like, you once you know how they play, it's, yeah. then it comes to the adjusting point, like how our team's going to attack you now. Yeah, now yeah. That, you know, Is Chris Paul still there? Yeah, Chris Paul's okay. there, but he's older, another year older. I know, he's... <laughs> If Chris, if the Lakers got Chris Paul, that would have been a done deal. Yeah, in my opinion, for sure. Um, Portland, I think they're a sleeper. I like make, Chauncey. Chauncey's a great analyst mm-hmm. slash. He's defensive minded. Dame Dalla, I think he's a sleeper MVP. I think he could finish he's in the always, top three. He's always a sleeper MVP. Yeah. <laughs> if if Portland is in the top three or four, mm-hmm. I think Dame could be MVP. Who's a starting line for? Uh, uh, CJ still there. They all they still have pretty much the same team. They mm-hmm. haven't made any big moves. Yeah. Maybe they'll get Ben Simmons. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. they just a. It's just a tough market to attract <laughs> big players. Shit, Ben Simmons went to Portland. That's a perfect fit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Honestly. Like, you got nothing to do but yeah. fucking play. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's gonna rain a lot. Let's see. Um, Dallas. <laughs> your disdain for Luca. <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah, because yeah, Kristaps can't say healthy. Yeah, there's no other star there. Yeah, besides Luca himself. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's either a toss up between Utah or LA. Yeah, like um, De- yeah, Mitchell. Um, he could he could he could lead a, a deep playoff run if mm. he just stays healthy. Right, D Mitchell. Hey, shout out to D Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> and then my Warriors. They're another toss up too. I don't know what the hell is going to happen this season. Yeah, keep, they keep pushing back Clay's timetable. I know. I, yeah, I heard it was going to be December. Now it's January. Yeah, at yeah. the earliest. He looks good though. You know. Do you think uh, Curry will have a decline? Yes. Yeah, will he start showing any? Personally, I think he's going to have a decline because his parents went through a lot of bullshit during the summer. Oh, they did. I didn't know that. You know that? No. Aisha. I mean, not Aisha. Sorry, Sonya and Dell. Oh shit. Yeah. They're divorcing? They're, they're divorcing because they both cheated on each other. Oh, yeah. shit. I didn't know about this. Because I remember we had this conversation about them being like the perfect family. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, fuck. I did not know that. So Dell just... was fucking around on when he's, you know. Because he's he's on the road. Yeah, with Charlotte. And then Sonya, I guess she was fucking around when he's gone. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I did not know this. You didn't know that? No. no that break that my, that break my heart because yeah. I used to work at the Warriors. Yeah. I didn't think Dell had it in him. <laughs> Oh my god! It kind of like loving basketball. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. So this sucks. Curry. This, this is the most heartbreaking <laughs> news. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh so, my so god! Steph, he's not showing any anything about it. So I think he even knew something. He might just play his ass off now. Play yeah. for your freedom. <laughs> play for your family. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to get together again. This pisses me off. <laughs> you, didn't, you really didn't. I'm know really that. angsty now. Yeah. Damn. Because Curry, Curry, like. When I'm seeing him in the preseason, he's just having fun. Yeah. So where'd you hear this shit? What? Where'd you hear this? From? Everything. Every. It was like the main. Oh, thing. probably when I was out yeah. for a couple of weeks on mm-hmm. social media. Damn. Yeah, it was like September. Fuck. So they're definitely getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel this show now, man. <laughs> <laughs> this business we all. So Curry, uh, he'll be fine. This is not going to be an MVP season for him because yeah. I think he's even t- <laughs> tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our our team. I have a lot of fucking shooters. Just a lot of young guys. Iguodala's back, so you got the leadership back again, which was much needed. Yeah. Uh, do you have a Do you have a backup point guard? Pool. Thousand. He's going to be most improved player of the year. You think so? I think so. I, I think when he I has see, a game, but I don't know if he can play point guard. When I see him play, it yeah. really reminds me of AI. Yeah. I got to be honest. Like I didn't want to see it because yeah. I, I didn't like pool in the beginning either. I like as AI. I need to watch him more. He's quick and he's, so. he's shifty. Uh, oh. His shooting is exponentially better since he came back from the G League. From G League yeah. But now he's playing like Trey a little bit yeah. with the chucking up like yeah. long threes. I hope Juan does good. Juan yeah. Toscano. Uh, Toscano. GTA. Yeah, he's Toscano's the he's the dirty player. Yeah. Like you, he just does all the crap. <laughs> dirty work. player. That's Not the dirty player. Sexual <laughs> dirty player. <laughs> he does all the the, the bit, dirty the work. Bitch yeah. work yeah. Yeah. So. Wiseman gotta stay healthy. He's I feel I, I, it sucks that so much pressure for <laughs> I was two like, pick. Yeah, I was surprised they were they're keeping Wiseman. I thought they're gonna trade him. Yeah, well, if you honest. get if you get Benjamin Simmons, curious case. No, nah, nah, that won't work. That won't they won't work. trade it because they have Embiid. Yeah, and um, you have Curry already. You don't need yeah. two point guards. I think Wiseman might be too timid. Yeah, I I wanted him to be healthy by this time, but, but he's he got the talent though. He, he can go coast to coast. He does, he does. Um, I'm surprised he got injured this early in his career. Yeah, at well, that age, that's too young to get injured like that. Yeah, well, maybe that's why college works sometimes to build up your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got you got to have that body. To Gradual build. For, for big men, it's like I don't remember big men getting like unless you're like, like that. unless you're like KG, like uh-huh. a high school phenom. Mm-hmm. 
like you can last in the league long. Yeah. But like, look at Tim Duncan. He was in the. That's what I'm saying. A lot of bigs went through college, Patrick Ewing, without yeah. having to feel like they have to carry a franchise right away. Right. And you you could say it's because of the way these players play nowadays. Yeah, They're yeah, too yeah. shifty, and they like to euro step. A lot of torque. A yeah. Lot of torque, yeah. I said this to my dad earlier. It's like I think the way these players play, that's the reason why they're getting injured yeah, so easily. Yeah, we talked about this a lot. Yeah, because yeah. the euro step alone. That fucks up your knees like yeah. crazy. That's why I encourage still work on your mid range game. Yeah. Like the Antonio McDice. That's why I like the finals because mm-hmm. like Devin Book and, and Chris Middleton. Paul with the and Middleton yeah. with the mid range. Mm-hmm. So run back a little bit. Hopefully this league like I want the league to continue to evolve, but still bring in tie in like this old school stuff. Mm-hmm. That's why I love this um, book. If you take a look at it, <laughs> so many shit about the nba right um, but i'm excited you excited for the season i'm excited for the season it's, finally a it's full one season. of the seasons is like i actually don't know what the fuck's gonna happen yeah, yeah, yeah. especially in the the western conference I which is no, good yeah which, parody which is great it's great is it parody or parity i forget the word i'm thinking parody. parody like when you when there's much more even playing field oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah parody yeah, got it. parody yeah it's um, great i love balances everything yeah it makes it exciting but matt's gonna fucking throw a fit if luca wins mvp <laughs> <laughs> This guy, he, might, he might. Matt's gonna go off like Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> top five in the t- uh, at least, though. What do you think? Oh, in the league? No, yeah, in the league. Uh, top five in the league. Uh, sucks. I'm still naming old ass player. Yeah. Uh, LeBron still up there, top five. He's he's five. Um, KD's up there. Mm-hmm. All right, I gotta put. It, you know, when you're the king, you gotta still be number one. So I put Giannis as number one. Okay, because like you won, you won it. You. Put a put up fifty. Yeah, you proved it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I put KD as two. That's good logic, that's, right there. That's too easy of a pick. There's too many variables for KD. Mm-hmm. Um, still the narrative. Three. Who's three and four? Curry. You put Curry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Curry. I'm, I'm, I'm sad now. <laughs> four. So bad for you. Damn. Who's in the top five? Who's who's four? Maybe Luca. Is Luca finally in there? Look, not yet. Not yet. I was actually gonna put Dame. Dame, oh yeah, 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 I would put Dame. I would put Dame. Top five, yeah, yeah. I would, I would almost put Kyrie if he was <laughs> <laughs> just plays more. Kyrie's, Kyrie's chilling. Yeah, he's top ten easily. Then, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of good talent in the NBA right now. Yeah, it's fi- finally, finally, <laughs> finally, someone can um, change the pecking order. Exactly, uh, it's changing a lot. I'm yeah. just looking at this, this right now. It's like yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, uh, even Lakers are a toss up too. So. We should bring in like someone young and like yeah. <laughs> maybe Anton yeah. come through, yeah. and then his, his <laughs> list is like totally different. <laughs> it's flipped. it's Trey, Luca, Zion, and Lamelo. <laughs> oh man, sweet! Um, excited for the season. Uh, let's wrap it up. Cool. Um, so again, follow us on all social media platforms. We got a lot of shit coming on your way. Uh, we'll do Star Wars, um, Star what Wars, if. What If. Um, some Korean dramas coming <laughs> up, so stay tuned. Follow us on all the platforms. Yeah. We're a variety show at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, so keep a lookout. Um, so from the top of the dome to the back of the pack, we are the Top Back Podcast. Peace. Peace. Peace.